Hi everyone, my name is David Kohar and I want to provide you a brief overview of our equipment dealer solution for Dynamics 365. Now if we step back and look at Dynamics 365, it's broken down into six major areas. Sales, customer service, project service, automation, field service, and marketing are all part of the Microsoft Dynamics CRM online heritage. And the operations area is all what's formerly known as the Microsoft Dynamics AX solution. It is all surrounded by some great applications and functionality from Microsoft and makes for a really great overall platform. Now our equipment dealer solution for Dynamics 365 is really focused around the front office, the marketing, sales, and customer service areas. And as you can see, it's broken down into multiple entities or record types, and we're going to dive into some of those here in a moment. We've also done some work to integrate the Dynamics AX equipment dealer solution that's on the marketplace with our Dynamics 365 equipment dealer solution. And as you can see here, here's a great example of some of the records or the entity types and the direction of the integration itself. Primarily what we've done here is we've given now the sales and marketing and customer service people the opportunity to work in the Dynamics 365 equipment dealer solution without having to directly go back into Dynamics AX. So let's go into the demonstration itself. I'm going to start here by logging into Dynamics 365 and look at the sales app. And as you can see, I'm on a sales manager dashboard. So I can see things like the overall goal progress of my team. I can dive in here and see how we're performing against our particular goals. I can see how we're rolled up against our team performance. And I can see what work we've already brought in the door here for this month or quarter. Now I can look at other dimensions as well. I can look at all the, the business has been won and lost by my team members. I can look at my campaign mix, my account ownership distribution. And of course I can look at my overall sales pipeline. Oftentimes if I'm running my sales meetings now as a sales manager, I wanna come in here and actually look at the entire pipeline initially, but then I wanna break it down to what's relevant for that given meeting. So we're getting up to the end of the year here right now. And I might wanna go and look at a couple of key things in my pipeline itself. So we have 1400 plus deals in the pipeline. Obviously there's lots of deals that are out there for a great number of months. I want to actually just target and look at all the deals that are just in the close phase. So I can see all of those deals. We only have 159 that are in the close phase of our sales process. I further might want to go and just say, let's look at all the deals that are going to either close this month or next because I want to get into a conversation with my sales team here this afternoon when we're on our on our sales call. So I'm going to go and look at that. That breaks it down to just 19 deals. Now this is where I can focus my sales meeting here this afternoon. Or let's say that I want to do, go and do a one-on-one -on -one meeting with one of my key sales reps. I might want to come over here and just look at this more specifically against their individual information. So I'm going to go in here and look at Allison's opportunities. So I'm going to just filter this by Allison. And of the 1,400 deals on the pipeline, she actually owns 288, so she's a very busy person. And so I might want to go and look at all of the deals that are in her close phase and say, okay, great, let's, let's dive into these. Again, I might want to break this down and say, just show me the deals for this month and next month. And when I'm having my one-on-one -on -one with her, in particular, I'm going to want to dive into these particular opportunities and find out more about how we can go in. So a bit of an overview on me diving in as a sales manager and being able to get some sense for how my team is actually performing. Now, if I'm managing some of my key accounts here, I might want to go into the account management area. I'm going to go ahead and open up Abraham Construction here, and I'm going to go and look at this organization and really understand what we're doing with them as a business. Now, I can see some profile information about them. I can see all the latest activities that are happening. I can go and find out if there's any details of anything that needs to be completed still. I can see their address and any divisions that they're connected to. I can also dive into looking at any of the contacts. Of course, I can also understand their equipment, which is a nice way to bring this visual together and understand of all the equipment that they own, what equipment do we actually provide to them? What is their age breakdown? We can look at this by a number of different dimensions. I can look at all the opportunities that we have, and certainly if they have any projects going on, any service calls, I can see we have one that's been resolved or any customer service agreements. And then I can go and look at our revenue summary. In this case, I want to see the revenue that's been brought over from Dynamics AX. We've brought over some high level information so we can actually look at this 
and put a roll up picture here to see what it looks like over the last three years. So in fact, our relationship is actually trending down with them, at least at the head office. So that's something of concern for me and I wanna dive into that a little more detail. So as I'm going into some of this information, I might want to in fact dive in and actually go and look at one of the equipment records that is in here. Again, this information is being fed to me from the back office system. So now me as one of the salespeople, I can go in and at a glance, look at a piece of equipment that I might want to be renewing an opportunity on, whether it's a rental or it's a, um, a potential deal that we're trying to, uh, to sell to this particular customer. And I can go see any of the technical information on this particular piece of equipment. I can go see if there's been any attachments so I can see actually the fact that there is and I can drill into that piece of equipment in more detail. I can also go look at all the history of all the opportunities that we've had on this particular piece of equipment, any service calls, any CSAs and warranties. So at a glance, I can actually go and get some very detailed information about this piece of equipment. So back on the actual account record itself, this gives me a good sense of what we're doing at Abraham Construction. I can also look at what our broader relationship looks like with Abraham Construction. This happens to be our head office location that we uh, work with there. But you can see that I can also see a roll up of all of the different organizations that make up Abraham Construction. In fact, D.H. Allen is one of the um, different names, but also is a child organization to them. I can see what's going on in Tennessee or Illinois at a glance. And you'll notice that there's a few key things on my org chart here. I'd show the equipment count. So there's 33 pieces of equipment at Tennessee. We don't have any in Illinois, but we do have an opportunity going there. So at least we know we're trying to make some progress. Um, again, I can see a roll up of all of this. I can see nicely a roll up of all the revenue that we have going on across the board. So if I were to add up all these numbers, I can see that we actually are running about $800,000 of active business across Abraham Construction at large. So it gives me a good insight into what's going on with our entire relationship with Abraham Construction. Interesting little overview around our, um, our accounts. I can also go in here and look at some of the opportunities. So if I want to go and open up the, uh, excavator rental renewal. I can do that as well. Now, as we open up an opportunity, of course, this is managing the deal itself. And our deal, as it stands today, runs across four key sales stages, qualify, develop, propose, and close. We can see that we're actually in the close phase where this is, this is a deal that we're trying to win. In fact, we're trying to win this deal here in the next couple of days. I can see some key information about this opportunity. I can see any posts or any assistant information that might come up, any activities that still need to be uh, completed. So we still need to follow up on the quote that we've given them and then any notes or uh, any one notes that have been added to it. If we did a service quotation, I can see that key information down here in terms of what we were trying to bid on. And then ultimately, if we wanted to do product level quoting and pricing, we can all do that down here. I can add multiple quotes to this particular opportunity and that will allow us to actually manage this opportunity in a lot of detail. Now, let me spin over for a minute. Let's say that I've done some of my work here in the morning as a salesperson, but now I'm out on the road. I can actually go and log into my tablet device here while I'm on mobile, and I can get a really good sense of all that information as well. So you'll notice as I come in here, I can go and look at a variety of different record types in the mobile device, but in particular, I tend to want to focus on my accounts, contacts, you know, my opportunities, my equipment. So let's go back into Abraham Construction again, and I can get a really good picture of what's going on with Abraham Construction, just like I was when I was dialed in um, over the web. I can go look at all the equipment, the opportunities. I can see any service calls that have happened or customer service agreements. Again, if I wanted to go and look at that same piece of equipment, I can see it here on my mobile device and be able to pull up any detail around the technical information, any associated attachments, traded information and whatnot. So I have a really good sense for where that all lands. I've got a good picture of my open opportunities. I can dive into that. I can go update my opportunities here very easily. And so that gives me some good information while I'm on the road. Now, finally, maybe I'm actually just working off of my mobile phone. And in this case, I'm on my iPhone 6, and I am going to just show very quickly a very similar scenario. So I'm going to go into look at my accounts. I'm going to pop into Abraham Construction. There's all that information that's there. 
Well, if I want to dive into any projects or share of wallet or CSAs, I can do that. I can go over here and look at any of the associated records. If I've completed one of these particular activities, I can simply check the box and away we go. I can come in here and add a note or one note. I can go look at the contacts. I can see what's going on with Bruce here. And in fact, I might want to add a phone call to Bruce. I could have clicked on his number directly and that would have taken me out to use my iPhone feature, but I won't actually call Bruce here, but I'll put in a follow-up as if I had. And finally here, I might want to put in some details around the description of the call itself. So I'm going to use my voice dictation. Remember to talk to Bruce about the 2017 plans, period. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save that into my system. So back to my home screen, my activities, my open opportunities, and my leads and my accounts. So with that, I want to do a quick wrap up. I want to thank you all for watching the Equipment Dealer Solution for Dynamics 365 with me today. I wanted to give you a brief overview of the experience that it would be for you to track your accounts, your contacts, manage your opportunities as a sales manager, manage down to your sales meetings that you're having, be able to look up equipment, and to be able to do that through a browser, through Outlook, through a tablet, as well as through a mobile phone. And so with that, I'll wrap up. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us here at, at Fullscope. Thank you.